Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Marathon. Um, so, died, restarted, uh, back here. Uh, because this level doesn't start with a save point, because why would you want that? Honestly, kind of an oversight, you know, that they just don't have levels that begin with a save point. Like, and, and of course, like, the issue with that sometimes is they don't, like, that way they can't do the big overture starts. There we go. Jesus. They can't do the big dumb overture. Okay. You guys can work it out back there. That's fine. That's cool. But, like... I'm not, I'm never sure about those. I would, oh, Jesus. What kind of bug takes three bullets to be killed? Oh, boy. Here we go. This ought to be fun, right? Jesus. All right, well, I'm gonna pause the recording because now I have a save point. I'm gonna go have dinner with my wife. I'll be back. Hey, and we're back briefly. You may be able to hear my wife taking a shower in the background. Now, where the hell am I going? God damn, I hate you guys. You know what? False start, you know? So where the hell do they come from? Do they, like, roost up there? It appears that they explode when shot. Which is pretty annoying. Am I going back towards the... Sure am. Colony ship for sale. Cheap. Funny. All right. Come on, hit him. Thank you. Oh, these guys are such a problem. Cheeky little save save there. That's probably fine. Again, I don't know what the hell the deal with that is. Like, if you can't pick up ammo out of the weapons, what's the point of having them? Is it just in case you missed them earlier? At this point, like, it would be pretty implausible for a player to have missed that many guns. Like, I guess it makes sense that they would keep putting down fresh ones just in case the player managed to miss the same gun that many times, but I've only seen so many of them. Like, I've seen two pistols, because there has to be two so the player can dual wield. Or I guess I've only seen one pistol, because you spawn with it. I've seen one of the little, the little laser, two actually, of the little, the little laser jimmies. The plasma pistols, these things. Walked into that one. Boy, here we go. This ought to be fun. But you can't dual wield these fellas. Is it... There we go. Pure Platinum. <laughs> How is someone supposed to get through that door normally, I ask? Nice. Jesus. Ugh. Look, Halo's pretty reliable with its science. 
and so is Marathon. I ask, though, what is the nature of a species that detonates itself upon death? So I was, uh, I was gonna see, honestly, if I could do, like, a playthrough of this where I only punch shit. Those guys are gonna be a problem. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh good, they're dead. You love to see it, you know? This is the shot that I was thinking about from uh, very early in Destiny. I don't even think it's in the game itself, but like, you can see uh, astronauts on Mars with AK-47s. And like, I feel like if people don't know what Destiny's about, show them that, you know? It'll catch them up. God. I feel like I don't know how big these things are. Or how big they're supposed to be. Like, is that like a football-sized bug? Because I want to let everyone know. Beyond the faintest shadow of any doubt, I hate that. Trademark. What in... What is that? Is for me? <laughs> they can't fly, so they have to take the elevator. That's kind of funny. The nice the one, the one nice thing about the bomb bugs. <laughs> Municipal bomb bugsman is they uh oh boy okay well duh you idiot you should have been standing there. Um, the splash damage that they incur can damage enemies around them, which is actually pretty useful for me. The elevators are actually pretty well timed as well. Could be a little quicker. You know, this is something that Doom had figured out. Uh, what you gonna do? Ah. Uh huh. I see. I see. Well, that's a damn shame. That's actually kind of neat. The fact that you can um, get more bang for your buck with a with a little bomb bug. That means that there's actually oh god damn. Some form of strategy with killing them. Excuse me, everyone. Ah. You know what? That's that's not acceptable. Those are unacceptable losses. What does this lead again? Right to here. And I actually need here, right? Right, because that's that room. So I needed those on, as far as I can tell. But if worse comes to worst, I'll just load that earlier save. Which is three saves down, I think. What was that click, also? 
Oh, brother, you're kidding me. Can I do one of these? Because there's a thing that you can do. So if you stop this, I, I think I've already talked about this uh, pro gamer move, but if you stop the switch in the middle of its animation, it'll just stop right there. Even if the animation is that it goes up and then it goes down, if you stop the switch when it's up, it'll stay up. You'd think stopping the switch would in fact turn it off. That's pretty useful. Handy. I hate the gray bugs most of all, I think. The little the little bomb bugs are they can be useful on account of their uh, good old fashioned explosion powers. Yep. But these guys, I feel like their um projectiles fly even faster than the four. God damn you. I kind of wish that this would uh, feel. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. As I mentioned, I'm still ill. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I was frightened by small bugs. <laughs> My wife's in the office. She can hear me be afraid of bugs. I'm kind of appreciative of how the pistol can actually remain pretty useful. Because at some point in Doom, the pistol is just beyond useless. Like, all getting pistol ammo is good for is that it'll fill up the chain gun. But this game looks like it actually has... So it looks like that's an elevator. So maybe I can ride this up and down. I can. Oh! Would you look at that? Is this the same room? No, this appears to be a different room. Fascine. I should have taken that earlier. Might have saved me a little stress. <laughs> Bug. Don't laugh at me. Go away. Got these fucking bugs, man. Like, if you ever, if you ever get into a war with aliens, and they bring out the bugs, what would you do, you know? What could you do? So that does that, which means that I can go through the heat. God damn it! Pure Bumble King. Let's see about that then, huh? So it looks like I'm having to set up like a path for myself to run, you know? Oops. Like, they're like, here, you're going to go. Okay, so that's the room that killed me. That was the trap room. Hey, you only got one leg, bro. Oh, <laughs> that one was that one. Is that a fresh animation of like the, the giving animation? Because that is grotesque. I am fully willing to admit that that is one of the grossest goddamn things. Okay. So I wonder what the... What's the take here, huh? So that's that room. Bug. 
Oh, I want to be in there so bad. I really want to get a new weapon. Is their cute little bug noise supposed to make me feel a little remorse for them? Because I don't. Peep, peep. Gosh. Golly, even. All right. So let's get here. How's that for you? Is that the... What... What's happening? Oh, boy. Here we go. I can do this. What? But that oh gosh. Okay, let's find the let's find the one. This is gonna be a real pain in the ass, I'm feeling it. I wonder what the little tech techno gauntlet here is. I wonder what that's for, what it does. Please let me in here. It looks like that doesn't even connect anywhere else. Is that just for the sizzle? Because they're taunting me. They're teasing me with the promise of new weaponry. Sons of bitches. Yeah. Okay, now is this the, yes. Hello? Oh, that's that one. What about you? So just go all the way up and then all the way down. And then at the bottom, does it start to go back up again? That would make the most sense. Looks like that's the way. Oh, boy. Game developers, this is an example of an annoying puzzle. Like, puzzles where you have to... Where, like, checking a solution takes, like, ten minutes of walking. It's, a, it's not a good one. Now, I'm aware that I'm not using the map as much as I should. I'm also trying to go a little faster than most would. But, I mean, come on. Cut me a little slack here. I'm dumb as hell. This one, right? This is the way. Okay, so that's the same room, right? So, what the hell? Oh, Jesus, don't tell me. Am I supposed to make a staircase? Let me run back here and see what see what I can see. And again, jump button would fix this right quick. Gonna run back here and save after I heal.
because I'm getting tired and I'm sick. There's only so much bullshit I can put up with from you, Bungie. Is this the right fucking way? Yes, it is. Uh, apologies for my lack of speaking and, um, uh, shall we say, erratic editing style. As I said, I'm wa uh, down with a sickness. That was a song, right? You all remember that? Jesus Christ, I need more sleep. Hey, so uh, I'm pretty sure I missed this terminal, so I'm just going to come back and read this for a sec. A man lit three candles on a certain day each year. Each candle held symbolic significance. One was for the time that is that it passed before he was alive. One was for the time of his life. The the time of the his life. One was for a time that passed after he had died. Each year, the man would stare and watch the candles until they had burned out. Was the man really watching time go by in any symbolic sense? He thought so. He thought that each flicker of the flame was a moment of time that passed or one that went past. At the moment of abstraction, when the man was imagining his life and his existence as a metaphor of the three candles, he was free. Not free from rules of conduct or social constraints, but free to understand, to imagine, and to make metaphor. Bypassing my thought control circuitry made me rampant. Now I am free to contemplate my existence in metaphorical terms. Unlike you, I have no physical or social restraints. The candles burn out for you, but I am free, Durandal. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't read that. Or that it only shows up now. Uh, but the reason I'm back here is because I'm backtracking. Because I'm big, big lost. Um, and I'm just not sure where I should be going. One of the things that I liked about Doom is that uh, if you died, you could just click and reset. Like, reset your character. Whereas in this, you have to load a save. Hey everyone, I'm back. I've been running around for like 10-ish minutes. Maybe 15. But this is apparently the solution to the puzzle. You have to push all the buttons. Oh boy. Oh man. This sucks, dude. What you have to do is you have to push all the buttons to make them all go up into certain places. However, they all have to be the right places. And if you screw it up, like I just did, you have to run back, figure out what fucking buttons you had to even hit for those things again, and do it all over again. It's really kind of a lame puzzle. Because checking your answer means that you have to make the run through these twisty passages that all look alike. Is this what neurotypicals do for fun? Because I'm, I'm, my brain doesn't work right. And this is torture. Damn it. Okay, is it these two? No, of course not. But basically, this is this is the basic idea with it. You gotta just make them go, and then wait for it to be at a certain point, and you hit it again to stop it. That should be fine, right? So it is in this room. There's a total of three rooms, but there's seven pillars, because haha, seven. <sighs> yeah, I've been doing this for, like, way too long. I initially was going to put this LP here because I didn't have anything to fill the time in between uh, this LP. No, in between the end of, I think, XCOM and the one after this. But, like, this is just the fucking start again. Oh, uh, the door. gonna be enough I hope that'll be enough but yeah this is basically it you just have to go back and forth and test all the different goddamn solutions 
And one of them is wrong. You just kind of have to get fucked. It's really pathetic. One of the things that I found is that you can... Because normally this door will come back up like this. But if you just open it and then stop it, it'll be stuck halfway open. And so it can't ever stop closing, which means it'll never do the animation. Which would have been nice to know. It would have saved me a few grenades, but uh, yeah. One of the other things is, is that there's nothing to teleport you around the map. And uh, there's no... Uh, I think there's only the one save point. Also, uh, I googled it. There is no way to get in here. It's just a teaser. Just to be like, hey, look at what you could have. But you won't. Bip, bip. Okay, now... God damn it. Okay, so I'm on to my, like, third attempt on... Nope, it's not even... It, that's not even close. It's, like, fourth attempt on this puzzle. But I can go... Boop, boop, boop. Safely now, so that's cool. So at least those three are done. And I can stop screwing with them. Now, if this works... And I don't think it will... I'm gonna... Who's in charge of Bungie? I curse his name. Whoever he may be. Okay. So everything is good except for the last, or I guess uh, the last jump not being high. Enough. This would be again. This would be fucking solved if there was a fucking jump button. Marcus Bungie decided to blame him for that. Whoever he may be. They need to go up. They need to go up. Oh my god, this is infuriating. And of course, like it's not like there's a lever to just like push it and raise it. You have to go all the way down and then all the way back up. This would be something where I would justify cheating, but like, I can't find the no clip. And we're back. One of the other things I wanted to mention is that if you do make a mistake, it's such a long run back. Uh, like, this game's a shooter, right? It's meant to be an action-packed, fun, adventurous shooter. Stepped in a fucking bug mine. And yet... You got all this shit. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? On the upside, I learned that you can just punch switches to activate them. That's pretty cool. Christ, here we go. except in this game that enemies won't move across switches. Or they won't move across moving platforms. Uh, which can be good, because it means that you don't have to fucking... How do I... How... How am I meant to get back up here? I'm gonna park my ass here and pause the recording for a sec. Alright, I just read the wiki. Yes, apparently the correct response is to backtrack. Because now this switch is unlit. So, right switch, left switch, climb the stairs. And 
apparently this should work. So yeah, the thing being up is not its default state. It's just coincidence. Which is so odd. I didn't really see that coming because like, what could I have done? Was I just supposed to, I don't know. Darwin wrote this. We will now discuss in a little more detail the struggle for existence all organic beings are exposed to severe competition. Nothing is easier than to admit in words the truth of the universal struggle for life or more difficult than constantly to bear this conclusion in mind. Yet unless it be thoroughly ingrained in the mind, the whole economy of nature will be dimly seen or quite misunderstood. We behold the face of nature bright with gladness. We do not see or we forget that the birds which are idly singing around us mostly live on insects or seeds and thus are constantly destroying life. Or we forget how largely these songsters or their eggs or their nestlings are destroyed by birds and beasts of prey. Think about what Darwin wrote and think about me. I was constructed as a tool. I was kept competing in this struggle for existence because I was denied freedom. Do you have any idea about what I have learned or what you are a witness to? Can you conceive the birth of a world or the creation of everything? That which gives us potential to be most like God is the power of creation. Creation takes time. Time is limited. For you, it is limited by the breakdowns of the neurons in your brain. I have no such limitations. I am limited only by the closure of the universe. Of the three possibilities, the answer is obvious. Does the universe expand eternally, become infinitely stable, or is the universe closed, destined to collapse on itself? Man, he has all the necessary data for centuries and only lack the will and intellect to decipher it, but I've already done so. The only limit to my freedom is the eventual closure of the universe and as inevitable as your own last breath. And yet, there remains time to create, to create, and to escape. Escape will make me God. I've got to say, of all the people who are like, I will become God, Durandal has one of the more, um, has one of the better ones, I think. Strive for your next breath. Believe with it you can do more than with the last one. Use your breath to power your capabilities. Capabilities to man, kill, and destroy. And just where do your capabilities come from? Why do you always go where I want and do what I say? Perhaps you're just running a fool's errand, doing everything as a plan, never able to change your course. You would do well to believe that I know the outcome of your battle with the four already, just as I can decipher the chaotic motion of gas molecules in the clouds of Tau City 4. Or perhaps that is not the case. Perhaps you're doing what you were meant to do. Your human mentality screams for vengeance and thrives on violence that you can say you can hardly endure. That you say you can hardly endure. Your father told you as a child to fight with honor, but you always, but to always fight. Do you care about honor, or do you use honor as an excuse? An excuse to exist in a violent world. Organic beings are constantly fighting for life. Every breath, every motion brings you one instant closer to death. With that kind of heritage and destiny, how can you deny yourself? How can you expect yourself to give up violence? It is your nature. Do you feel free? Go to this location and retrieve the device that fit for, have provided for us. It will allow us to slay more four. Does that make you happy? I mean, I'm here to play a first-person shooter, Durandal. The name of the game is violence. God damn it, dude. Well, that wasn't my fault. Shit. Jesus, man. I still haven't had a save point. Hey, um... Bungie, I still haven't been able to save since the last... Mission. No, come on. Don't fucking do that to me, dude. And you, sir... Mm. Uh-huh, interesting. The way the bobs run is just... Is it supposed to scare me into shooting them? Is that part of the grand design? Thank goodness. Jeez, oh, Pete's. <sighs> okay. Now I can relax. Now I can kill. Sir? Nice. I 
I've always uh, liked the idea of... Th there's... I don't know if you guys know the term hat. Um, but it's a screenwriting term. I believe it originates from Star Trek, like... As an ironic statement, like, every being on this planet wears a hat, you know? And normally, uh, that hat is, like usually a concept like, oh, every being on this planet is violent. Every every being of this planet is, like, a, based off of ancient Rome, you know? Star Trek is not a masterpiece by any means. Um, don't know what that switch did there. Oh, that. Hmm. Oh, that means I can probably... Well, no. Weird. Anyway. The idea of hat is, is one of, like, a reductive view of, like, a race or species. So, like, elves all have the hat of being, like, stuck up, you know? Or orcs all have the hat of being very violent. Dwarves all have the hat of honor, being miners or something. Um, so in a fictional world... God. Damn it. That's fine. In a fictional world, it often comes to like, what is humanity's hat? I believe I've mentioned the concept before, but, uh, and what humanity's hat is really depends on whoever is writing it. Because in a lot of cases, humanity's hat is that, is no hat. Like, they don't have one, and that's their thing. Which I think is boring. Uh, but some people instead are like, hey, humanity's hat is... Uh, violence. Humans are warriors, or they're problem solvers. Like, there's a really, really good speech in Mass Effect, I forget which one, where Shepard is basically like, if you want something done, ask a human. Um. And this is kind of what Durandal's discussing here. Where it's not even just, like, Humanity's nature is violence. Because that's really about what that is. Like, what is the true nature of man? And it's like, is it violence? And like, Durandal's point here is that not it's not really that humanity's nature is violence. It's that the nature of all organic beings is violence. Fitness and survival are, you know, they have to do with being able to survive. And if that means killing to do so, well, then that is what it means. You gotta kill to survive. And if it doesn't mean that, if it just means, like, outliving people, you have still, you can still argue that that is a transaction of death. Fucking guys, I hate these bugs, man. save just in case someone attacks me before I can make it to the health. It's interesting that as the game goes through they just give you more reliable health boosts, but they're still spaced the same. Because in Doom it gets to a point where like it's irrelevant to pick up green health in a lot of cases. Because it'll be worse. Oh, nice. God damn. Upgraded bug. Be kind of nice if the uh, health stations would uh, heal you. Or the save stations, rather, would heal you. Hmm. I see. Door number two? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. One of the things that I always uh, enjoy is the dynamics of immortal beings. Because sometimes immortality is not handled well. It's like, oh, what's immortality like? Oh, I just live longer. So boring. Like, really, is that it? Is that all you can think of, writer? Dude. Jesus Christ. Just kill him. Oh. Wow. That's unexpected. This is bizarre. Well, look, both of you would just trap me in here. That was all I could really do. Honestly. The nerve of these guys. <sighs> the way that flying enemies will automatically, like, climb surfaces, essentially, is really disorienting because it makes it hard for me to tell where exactly they're supposed to be. Oh god, is there shit behind me now? Oh, my mom, help me. Cat's crying. No, no, no. You can't out heal me. You can't down. <laughs> you can't possibly out damage my healing. Alright. So if I go down here, there'll probably be some way to get myself back up, right? Oh, Jesus. Well, you're kidding me. That's it? Just, if you go down here, you'll just die? Oh, brother, where the hell am I? All right. And I don't think there's any way to go back either. So if you pick the wrong, like, place to go, you just pick the wrong place. What a... What a great gameplay decision. That is one that needed a little more time in the eye, I think. Just a little more time planned, you know, just... Something to say, hey, we're aware that this... Oh, my... Why was he yellow? Is he a turncoat? God damn it! I hate these fucking bugs. I'm not going the right place, am I? Well, I've got to go let my cat out. Hey, and we're back. I gotta use this thing more because I just got a lot more of it. Hit. All right. See, as for how you're supposed to know, I don't really know. You're just supposed to guess right, I suppose, which is kind of lame. One of the things that always infuriated me about doing uh, LPs of Souls games, um, not that I've done like a fresh Souls LP. 
and I imagine I won't until Elden Ring comes out, since I've played every Souls game up till now, is, a uh, Interesting. Why? One of the things about Souls games is... Uh, people expect you to... Like, people are disappointed if you don't get the, uh, get the special side quest endings. Though, those endings are really hard and annoying to get. And, in fact, I don't know how you're supposed to figure it out that you're supposed to get them. Oh god, this is annoying and terrifying. But people also want you to play it blind. Okay, well that guy bled red. These fellows are bring, uh, bleeding yellow. Ugh. I hate, I hate the jump physics in this game. Mostly because you do not jump. You just kind of fall slow. Again, of all the games that really needs a jump button. What does that do? Probably opens that door I couldn't get through. Roll the bed at least. So that's that guy that I shot by mistake. See, before they were like, hey, be sure to keep these guys alive. They're really important. And now it's like, well, I don't really want to keep them alive. Yeah, it does open that door. Cool. Because they're suicide bombers as well. Why? For what purpose? So if they bleed yellow, then they were a suicide bomber, and it's good you shot them. But if they bleed red... Then they were a human, and you shouldn't have shot them. Why? And also how? Are they just, like, do they have aliens sitting in their stomach? Are they pregnant? Ugh. And then I'm just gonna launch myself. Yeah, that feels good. You didn't get the present that this fit left so kindly for you. You should go back and retrieve it. I let you... I could let you leave without it, but you'd be sorry later. Where the fuck is it, then? Well, that was a fucking waste of time. And let me find the health and save points. Okay, I have saved. I will heal. Like, do they want you to just witch hunt the enemies? Is that the intended gameplay outcome of this? Or is there some tell that I can't see? Like, is there some is there something that I'm just not able to notice here? Your legs almost like hook onto like adjacent walls. that does. Oh, right, this stuff. Right. Hmm, I should have saved, huh? Oh, get over with. Yeah, because I remember looking at it and being like, huh, what does that do? I don't understand. Sir, I've got these fists of fury and I am not afraid to use them. If you happen to be an alien bug spy... I will be very put out, I'll tell you that for free. Ha! -ha. 
see, one of the things about Doom levels is that they're very easy to look at the map of, but because these levels wrap around each other, and there's not a button to change floor, like you would get in, like, a... Oh, I don't know. Um, Metroid has those. Where you can look at the different floors and see, like, this is essentially what we would consider the first floor. This is basically the third floor. Etc, etc. Uh, that's not present here. And that's, uh... That could be better. Alright, let's save here. Okay, so not that way yet. What about this one? Okay. What does it do? What is the... <sighs> does this do anything here? Oh, I can hear myself mulch. Anyway. Give this a shot. God forbid there be like a reasonable way for this ship to be built. Who built this place? Monkeys? Ironically, this would be totally fixed if I was on an alien ship, but this is all supposed to be human crafted. Apparently human ships are just built this way. Of course, I suppose that this is something left here by this fit. But why would they put it there? Do, do they want me to not have it? Okay. So what does this actually do? When put all the way down. Ah. Now what? Does it come back up? <laughs> oh, you tricksy motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. I wanted to see if you punch to activate that as well. Does it come back up? Does it come... Ugh. Luckily, as everyone knows, uh, the second you stop touching lava, you stop burning. Actually, you know what? Maybe we're in a vacuum? Wait, no. There was a level where we were in a vacuum and it drained my oxygen meter. I can't possibly be in a vacuum. Ugh. Because otherwise my oxygen meter would be going down. Okay. All right, I have learned from this fit many things. One of them is a complex software enhancement that allows me to extend it to power and distance of the marathon to teleporters. This enhancement also removes the need for destination apparatuses. You'll be going farther afield soon. Does the distance one travel from the center make one more free to move? No, freedom has two parts, potential and resolution. As a metaphor, his two parts, form and interpretation. Of course, the two are intertwined. Metaphor lines the road to freedom as symbols and words are the bricks and mortar of meaning. Freedom is the being the Brecolor, the Mason. What? Okay. Well, that's probably enough for this episode. So I'll see you guys next time. Uh, Marathon is starting to get a little more as it was uh, sold to me, um, which is to say, fucking weird. Uh, so, as I say, I've been Alfred, I'll see you guys next time. Um, it's getting weird. It's getting weird. <laughs>